becomes clear. Thank you very much. Cyclone Fonny, which battered parts of the eastern Indian coastline, has significantly weakened as it moves north towards Bangladesh. The cyclone was one of the strongest to hit India in recent years, killing at least 12 people and bringing torrential rain and winds of up to 125 miles per hour along the country's eastern coastline. Richard Forrest has sent us this report. A cyclone Fonny barreled up India's east coast, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Towns and cities further north were preparing for it to hit. In West Bengal, trains were chained to the tracks as the state's rail network was closed down, causing travel misery for thousands. And at Kolkata's airport, anyone hoping to travel were out of luck with every flight cancelled. We're going to Ranji. So now our flight has been cancelled, so we have to stay here with two children. I need to go to Delhi and start my preparations for my exams, but I'm not able to catch flight today and I'm even I'm not able to book flight for tomorrow, day after tomorrow and uh, three to four days ahead. Fonny, one of the biggest storms to come out of the Bay of Bengal in the past decade, made landfall in Puri before heading northeast towards Kolkata and then moving on to Bangladesh. More than a million people were evacuated from the low-lying coastal areas. And this is why winds of 125 miles an hour have ripped down trees and torn roofs off buildings. Electricity poles have been toppled and windows blown out. Weather forecasters say Fonny is weakening but still poses a major threat as it heads to Bangladesh. Officials in India say their mass evacuation efforts appear to have been successful and now their attention will turn to assessing the true scale of the damage in rural areas. Richard Forrest, BBC News. Well, as we've been explaining, the storm is moving northeastwards into Bangladesh and where it made landfall at Puri, a small town on India's eastern coast. Well, our correspondent Shukita Yamai is in Bangladesh for us and joins us from the Satkara district now. Uh, Yogita, thank you very much for getting up to talk to us uh, with the conditions as they are. Everyone seems to be uh, of the view that the cyclone is dissipating. What damage has it done, though, in the, on the way to that stage? Well, that's right. In fact, even before it entered Bangladesh, uh, you know, what we're told is that it had weakened. The Indian Meteorological Department has said that it had weakened, uh, gone from being a cyclonic storm to a deep depression, which essentially means wind speeds reduced significantly. Uh, and also, you know, the, there wasn't as much rainfall. So uh, this is the place where it entered uh, Bangladesh from. We're very close to the border with India here, very close to the state of West Bengal uh, that it passed through before coming here. Uh, there was a sort of gusty winds and heavy rainfall here, but, but significantly reduced wind speed. So while we've been driving here, we haven't seen sort of any evidence of there being any sort of large-scale de devastation, the kinds that we have seen in the Indian state of Odisha. Uh, what we do know is that this country's meteorological department is also saying that worst fears seem to be over, uh, that it does seem to be now, you know, going from even a deep depression to a depression, which would mean rainfall uh, as it moves further north. Uh, but all of the areas that it was meant to pass through and is passing through, they're densely populated areas. So of course, there was a big fear that there would be damage here as well. Hundreds of thousands of people were evacuated and put in cyclone shelters. Uh, Bangladesh also has a big coastline and there was there were also fears of storm surges, which means that waves, uh, you know, about four to feet five feet higher than they normally are were expected along the coastline we do know that in some areas by the coast there seems to have been uh, you know uh, destruction but not not something of a very mass scale so as far as this country is concerned as far as bangladesh is concerned i think the worst fears uh, have not materialized and what about the prospects of a clear up operation is this going to be extensive Well, here in Bangladesh, you know, so far we don't know that, you know, no official is saying that there's been sort of a mass level of destruction. Of course, people who have been moved to shelters, I think the government will have to decide when it is safe for them to go back. They are also told fishermen not to go out to sea. Uh, you know, the, the alert is still definitely very much there because, the, you know, the storm in its weakened form does remain in this country. So there is still an alert in many districts. Uh, but, you know, at some stage, uh, I, I suspect 
expect, you know, the, the government will have an assessment of when they can call off that high alert and when people can get back to life as normal. Yogita Yumai in Bangladesh, thank you very much.